So the first announcement regarding a specific character rework is now here, and as previously mentioned, it's for Winona. This update will be coming out on the 7th of March, which is this Thursday. Reading from the forum's announcement, Hey everybody, the first character update for Don't Stop Together is coming next week on March 7th. Winona has been hard at work since landing in the constant, and she's invented a couple new ingenious tools. Always ready to roll up her sleeves and lend a helping hand, her new catapult and spotlight inventions will be sure to keep her new pals safe, no matter what dangers head their way. Winona's catapult requires a rechargeable generator to power, AoE damage to the nearest enemy. Yes, this is the kind of stuff that Winona has needed from the start. Beginning this rework with a bang comes Winona's catapult, which is the second automated defense we've seen after the houndiest shootiest. This device could lead to some insane base defenses, but it all depends on how much damage it can output, as well as firing speed and resource cost. Winona's second device is the Spotlight. It illuminates the nearest character, being fueled by a generator. I think a lot of this device's power will revolve around its range, seeing as it can only illuminate one character at a time. DST already has a few infinite or near-infinite light sources, but all of them have a small range. Since the spotlight will require Nighter to run, it will probably need a range of at least two screens in each direction, enough to cover a large base, otherwise a simple fire pit will do a better job of lighting the area. Rechargeable generators, of which there are two. Winona's generator provides about a day's worth of power, requires Nighter as fuel, and Winona's generator, which provides six days worth of power and uses gems. These two devices will power Winona's functional devices. It also gives another use for Nighter, which was previously dead weight in one's inventory. We're still unsure as to how these devices will actually function. Will each catapult and spotlight require their own generator, or will there be some sort of power grid with conduits in order to connect multiple devices? This new system has a lot of potential. Perhaps other characters might even receive new perks relating to these new devices. However, Winona's can-do attitude comes at a cost. Winona now consumes hunger when speedcrafting, and Winona now crafts slowly when hungry, with no hunger cost. Finally, a perk that doesn't revolve around sanity. It's definitely interesting to see more perks related to hunger, hence the game's title. Again, we're still not 100% on how these two perks will function. Does Winona always speedcraft, requiring hunger, or will she be able to toggle between the two modes? What hunger threshold does Winona have to be below to count her as being hungry? And, of course, how much hunger does one lose while speedcrafting? Regardless, these actually sound like some really impactful perks, which is great. Personally, I hope that Winona still retains her extra darkness hit. It wasn't really useful in terms of gameplay, but it definitely added to her character. There isn't really any need to remove it. With the update, we will also have a new animated short and some huge changes to the drop system. Animated shorts are always great. Hopefully we receive some more information about Winona's relationship with Wagstaff, considering that Winona's rework and Wagstaff's release in single player are strangely close together. And hopefully the drop system getting reworked involves a buff to elegant drop rates. In my almost 600 hours playing Don't Stop Together, I've only ever found two elegants, not including ones from chests, which is a bit ridiculous. Anyway, to quote the announcement, you won't want to miss this. See you Thursday. <laughs>